And in this clip, we'll be finalizing our product box tutorial. Alright, now let's see this all come together here. Let's go to our layers here. And we're going to select everything that goes on the front of the box here. The front area, swirls, and the two text layers. We're going to go to layer. Oh, you can't see it on here, but merge layers or control E. That makes it one big layer that we can move around there. And then we're going to go do the same thing to the sidebar. So we'll select both the swirls copy and the side area and hit control E to merge those. Now we've got two single layers for the front and the side. So let's go ahead and have uh, our side selected and we're going to go ahead and move it holding shift to the left. I've got my snaps on but make sure it lines right up with this uh, the other side of the front of the box. So I'm going to have it right about there. Now we're going to go into our layers again and our background I oh, will leave that uh, Leave that black for now. Let's go ahead and select our front of the box here. We'll hit Control T to transform. And you can right click in this uh, transform area and go to perspective. Now you can grab one of these corners. Perspective basically lets you add a perspective, which you'll see here. Click one of the corners here on the upper left and drag down. If you drag in this way, it adds perspective like that. If you bring it down, Kind of makes it fade off left into the distance. So not too much. And then we're going to right click again and hit free transform. And we'll bring it back in. Okay, that looks about good. We'll just go ahead and leave it there. Hit return to apply it. Alright. And now we'll do the same thing with the sidebar. Hit control T and right click perspective. Bring it down a little bit. Right click free transform. Bring it in. Now you can see our box starting to come out now. Go to our layer here. And our background, we'll go ahead and make it white. Now it doesn't look very good right now, but let's go ahead and merge the two copies we just uh, tweaked in a perspective. So hit control and select both those layers. And then hit control E to merge them. And now the final step will be converting this background to a layer. We'll go ahead and double click it to make it a layer. And hit OK. And now in this uh, box layer, we'll go ahead and bring up our layer styles, add a drop shadow so you can kind of see it. And now we'll add our distance at 1 or 2 and our spring our size up a little bit and our opacity down. We'll click OK. See how it looks. That's pretty good. It could you definitely use a little bit of tweaking. Um, as you can see, the text didn't come out clear. You could use a finer text or a larger resolution. But this is a quick way to do it, and you get a pretty decent looking result.